you can't. I can't help it. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. Today, we're going to be doing an iguana and duck removal job at the laundry mat. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. They're festered. They stank. You smell that? Dude, that'd be some tegu bait. For real. Oh, is that muskogee? They're rotten. That'd be a good, that's good, that's a good tegu bait. We'll yeah. take them. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the, uh... We'll get the egg carton. We'll that'd be a real good bait eggs. for, for tegu. Heck yeah. Gonna get some, some tegu bait. Definitely rotten, huh? Oh yeah, that's uh, it's pretty ripe. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect, man. It's uh, want not waste not, right? That is true. Using an invasive to catch an invasive. Don't get more efficient than that, right? Yeah. Yeah, those eggs are definitely bad. You can just tell by the color of. Them. Oh yeah. And the babies already hatched. Baby Muscovy's already hatched. Stop lying. Most oh my god. Oh my god. You see them? Oh get your pole, dude. Holy crap. A giant iguana was spotted in a nest. It's time to go teach him a fat lesson. Nice. Oh, he's blue. I like that string a lot better. He's a big one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look how blue Ooh. he is. Look at that thing. That's crazy. He's feisty too. Look at those rhino horns. Ah. Yeah. Mm. That's a monster, dude. <laughs> you think that's the biggest one? That's my biggest one. That's freaking. Oh, that is huge. Look at that thing. He's got thing. a full tail. They rarely have a full tail when they get this big. So, so why isn't he orange like the other He's people? shedding. See all this blue on him? He's yeah. shedding. Oh. Iguanas shed multiple times per year as they are constantly growing with the unlimited resources, food, water, and sunlight. That's good. Wrong. I ain't gonna break his tail. Uh, okay? He got me. He got me. Oh man. Look, he's already turning orange. Look at the color on him already. Now he's starting to turn like alpha you. all of a sudden, right? Yeah, he's angry. The he's true alpha male is coming out. He's like, uh uh. <laughs> Is it going to hurt them? No, but they're getting all you, tangled up. You want me to get my net? It's got smaller. Yeah. All right. Here. Try to hold them so they don't get out. Okay. Hold them down and I'm going to get the last two. Oh, no. Yeah, hurry, go get him. Oh, it was like they were falling. I, I couldn't keep them. <laughs> hey. All right. That's pretty cute. Y'all, 
boat. You want to get the boat and get the rest of them? <laughs> they might come back on the land in a second. Cute. That's pretty freaking cute. How do they grow up and turn into this? Ugly They're not so cute animals. <laughs> What's the theory behind them? Is it is it from crossbreeding that they, they, they look they end up looking like this when they get bigger? The Muscovy duck is an invasive species introduced to South Florida via the pet trade. Since there were a few ducks released in the same family, there has been some interbreeding going on, causing the ducks to look mutated and not be that smart mentally. A lot of people consider these ducks nuisance animals, hence the reason we are being paid to do removal services. Come on, oh yeah, so that's something pretty cool. I didn't realize they had uh, yeah, claws. claws. Like our, our native wood ducks have claws. Since these ducks are somewhat domesticated, they will be sold to a farm where they can make good, loving pets. So all these all these ducks that we just caught, instead of them being uh, wild invasive species, we're actually going to farm these ducks, correct? Yeah. And they'll go to like an actual home and take care of them. Muscovy duck infestations can be serious. The duck's feces contains magnitudes of different bacterias that if you step in them, walk in your house, you could cross contaminate without you even knowing. These guys will be sent to a farm where they will be taken care of and make loving pets. Sisters. Ducks in the bag. Since our iguana and duck removal job was a huge success for the day, we decided to move to our other job to try to locate and catch a very big eyed, big headed lizard. Easier said than done. Yeah, he, lo he looks nice and, and healthy and full, full spectrum. And he's looking right, it's crazy how he's looking right at us and we're looking right at him. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We're going to see if we can get another invasive species, y'all. We're going to set up this baby pole. Get him. If I can't, if he like tries to go, I'm gonna whack him off, and you're gonna have to catch him. This is a Cuban nightingale, another invasive species. This is actually a lizard eater. They eat the native green anoles, so it's very essential that we remove this guy off the property. Ah! Bite me. These don't bite as bad as the basilisk. Ow! <laughs> Ow! 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 He got you! I didn't catch him, he caught me! Ow! Give me a stick! Ow! Set, I'm Ooh, ripping. Look at that. Put something in his mouth. That ain't gonna work. Give me like a stick. Here, here, here. Here's a stick. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, that's not working. There we go. Nice. <laughs> gotcha. Ain't as bad as a basilisk. Go. I am. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> oh no! I felt his tooth. I felt his tooth. Look at the freaking notches on his head. Like Dude, he's got armor. This is probably the healthiest one I've ever seen. Like he's not. He doesn't yeah, look. Yeah, usually skinny. they look like super thin and like just. A 
dying, and this one is like, he's been eating some anoles, is what he's been eating. Oh, look, at, look, at, look at those. That's what they eat? They eat other anoles? They'll eat anything yeah. they can fit yeah, in their those, fat mouth. Look at those toe pads, bro. Dude, we need to start looking up in the trees. Look at that. That's insane, like a gecko, huh? Mm-hmm. Dang, got good grip. Yeah. That's really cool. So, another invasive species. Really happy we got this Cuban night anole situated. They can basically eat anything they can fit in their gullet, including baby birds. They live in the trees, and they are definitely opportunistic hunters. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up, leaving a couple comments about your favorite parts, hitting the like, and of course, subscribing if you're new. It's the Iguanamas signing out. Till next time. Just keep on catching.